Marcus! Baldriac Blazingbeard pulled his axe out of the cracked head from the orc he just had a fight with. Ew, pig faces are getting better. But still not good enough to beat a dwarf. Especially one who was trained by the mighty Ingrimsh. He spit on the dead body. Before he packed his stuff together and continued. Baldriac was on a journey all alone from far away on his way to the sacred land. After all the trouble that happened, this big black hole with whatever the hell that was, that big claw coming out of there. It was cruel. He can't remember how long it was. The whiting and everything. It was hellish. Not to mention how many saw their creators that they know. Even just to be ready all the time. And this silence. Oh, Vakas. This goddamn silence, he said angry. Maldrak remembers well how it was. He was one of the dwarves living outside of the sacred land, born and raised there. So he was actually used to this kind of trouble. But not in these dimensions. So he moved on and finally saw the stone gateway. Boindil Tublight told him how things are handled here and how he should react to make the job for the dwarves here a little bit easier. They who lived here are the ones from the first dwarven tribe. You could say it's an undead tribe since the real first ones died long ago. Well, long is a term which is not as long as long is for mankind as for dwarves. Baldriac was a pretty young dwarf or warrior like him, but he was lurking on Boindil's training and learned the way of wielding two axes. Though actually, if he may have asked him nicely, he would probably... Oh well. Now, it wasn't the time to think about this. He already knocked on the door in thoughts, and a voice was howling down from above. Boy, Rakas, you are a big one, eh? Who are you, and why do you want to pass? I am Bardrak Blazingbeard from the Blazingbeard clan, son of Ordrak Blazingbeard and one of the dwarves from outside of the Sacred Land. I am here to begin a new life inside of the sacred land. So you basically want to immigrate? Uh... Well... Lay down your weapons right in the front of the gate. Wait until we took them. We then will control you. If you have anything with you that might be sketchy or something. And depending on if we like you or not, you can pass or not. Baldriac had to laugh. It was funny how those dwarves acted so serious. But well, maybe it was because in the last time many attacks happened. And even just a dwarf that looks a bit mysterious to them may be an intruder. So he did as he got told and waited for the gate to open. <laughs> 